Hi YouTubers, it's Ingrid again with Fearfully Made. Listen, today is the last and final day of my soup. I know you guys must be tired of the soup. Anyway, the rest of my butternut squash that I'm going to spruce up, I have here coconut milk. I think Dollar Tree I got this from was a dollar. And um, I think it's coconut dreams or something it's called. It's in a can, okay? So this is a little Jamaican twist, okay? coconut milk it gives you food flavor okay if you like coconut milk that's for coconut lovers now and i have here an old jamaican recipe these are dumplings but they're spinners we call them spinners you know we put them in stew peas and rice when we make our stew peas and rice we put them in our stew peas and rice they're just flour okay and i had flaxseed to it okay wheat flour is best to use and i add some flaxseed so spinners coconut milk and i have some leftover chicken no you don't have to use chicken you can use shrimp or anything you like okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna saute my dumplings in about quarter to half a cup of coconut milk and when it get down to the bottom i'm gonna put a teaspoon just a teaspoon or a little bit of, of um, olive oil and then when it done when it's finished sauteing then i'm gonna add my chicken in it and then i'm gonna pour it inside of my butternut squash the coconut milk is gonna give it an awesome taste so stay with me okay okay youtubers so over here i have my pot on the stove okay i'm gonna put just about a little just a little let me use the spoon just a spoonful of olive oil i i forgot to get me some um some cooking spray so that's what i'm gonna do just a little bit of olive oil and that's it right there Too hot. that's a little bit hot but let me turn the stove down and I'm going to add my dumplings. Okay. These are a lot, but I'm going to add it because um, I'm going to leave another a serving. It's a small serving, but I'm going to leave half of it for another day. And you can also spice it up if you like. Okay. So I probably, I'm going to add a little bit of garlic powder. And some black pepper this is gonna be so good coconut milk I'm just gonna add I'm judging it Just about a, not even a half a cup, less than a half a cup. Let me turn the stove up a little bit. And I'm going to let that saute. Okay, YouTubers, this is what it looks like, okay, with the coconut milk. Believe you me, it tastes better than it looks, okay? So I sauteed it, and I have here my, my butternut squash, okay? and i have here just a serving of the chicken that i just warmed up okay so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put a couple of the spinners in just like so And I want to get some of that cream, okay, in the bottom. It is good. And then I'm going to take my chicken. I'm going to take my chicken, just this amount. And I'm going to put it over it. I 
Okay, now you know when I did my test taste for the butternut squash, how it was already. So here goes my butternut squash and added to it is chicken and dumpling and the, um, sorry, the dumplings is sauteed in my secret recipe by coconut milk. I'm telling you, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna taste it. And the spinners. And you can use any kind of meat. You, I had the chicken already, so I used that. You know, you could pick up the Dollar, uh, Dollar Tree chicken uh, strip. They have the rib chicken and the breast chicken strip. Okay, this is a healthy meal, okay? And I'm gonna taste it. Mm. Let me tell you something. Coconut milk in butternut squash. It gives it such a nice flavor. The chicken with the coconut milk with the dumplings. I'm 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 telling you, there is no, I mean, it's just good. It's good. This is a chicken. Okay. We all know that chicken and dumplings is good. The spinners cooked down, sauteed in the coconut milk. Mm. When I did the butternut squash, I gave it a four star, right? This is a five star meal. If you really, really want to add chicken and dumpling to your soup, trust me, it's good. And you could do the same thing for the tomato soup. It is awesome. Thank you guys for the six countdown meals. Okay, you stayed with me through this and I want you to know that I appreciate you guys. I appreciate every watch and I'm gonna be coming by you guys' channel. I'm gonna be making rounds soon, okay? So just give me a chance to get to you if I don't get to you yet. But I just wanna tell you, thank you very, 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 very much from the bottom of my heart. Um, Sorry. I just wanna say I appreciate you guys more than you know and six days of soup do you know i lost three and a half pounds six days of soup don't know how look six days of soup don't know how but six days of soup the love handle is going down <laughs> six days i'm not even sucking in if i suck in it's like this so I just want to tell you the easy, easiest way or one of the way you can help yourself when you're trying to trim down is do soup and salad. Okay. And you see, I add stuff to my stuff. I, I had protein. I had chicken. I mean, when I did the soup, I had veggie, I had the okra and the cheese. So there's things that you can do. I think when you're trying to lose the weight, the most you can do for yourself is to eat smaller portion. So this is good for me. I'm going to enjoy this. I just want to say thank you guys for hanging in there with me. I hope you got some ideas of how you can spruce up your soup, what you can do to your soup. If you go out there and you buy box soup, the box soup is better than the canned soup. Okay, but you can water it down. You can add, like I said, grounded flaxseed or chia seed to make it thick. And you can, you know, do your own thing. You can buy chicken noodle soup, which have the same sodium with the stock. Okay, and you water it down and add your carrots and stuff just to get the flavor. So there's a lot of things you can do if you have leftover chicken, if you have leftover steak, beef, whatever. And the dumpling sauteed in the coconut milk. Listen to me. You can't go wrong with that. Right, Sister Root? You can't go wrong with that. Okay, because that's how we make our stew peas with the spinners in it. But this is a great, great, great twist to just butternut squash soup. Or you can do it also with the tomato soup by adding your coconut milk sauteed um, dumplings and chicken. And the chicken is well, 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 well done. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. I'm going to eat. I'm going to enjoy. And I lost three and a half pounds. Glory be to God. A girl could take anything she get if it's even one pound. So thank you very much, <laughs> you know, for watching. Don't forget you're so fearfully.
and so wonderfully made by the hands of God okay and if you like this video if you enjoy the soups if you're gonna check them out when you check them out let me know okay and if you spruce them up or spice them up or whatever you know let me know thank you and I appreciate you all like it if you like it thumbs it up if you enjoy the soups okay and if you get some soup ideas okay comment share and subscribe thank you guys and God bless you bye bye Hallelujah.